You think it's wise to trust the Chinese? The court trusts him. I'm sure we can. Besides, we have no choice. It's settled then. Once the rebels are killed, our problems are solved. We have to strike while the iron's hot. We'll have surprise on our side. Agreed. We waited too long. I can't wait to give them a taste of hot lead. We'll teach these Chinese dogs to pay their taxes. It'll be a lesson they won't forget. I can't understand them. What do they think they'll gain? They're stupid to think we can be overthrown by peasants. What do you expect? Peasants are stupid. Now, my friend, what kind of reputation does this man have at court? How should I know? You've been to court before. I'm sure you've heard of him. He is the famous inspector, Zhou Shei Hu. Oh? I've heard of this famous policeman before. I've heard he's ruthless, a hard man to pin down. This guy may be the most famous inspector in China, but I've also heard this guy we're after is the most famous thief in all of China. Just because you're famous, it doesn't prove that you're the best. Well, one thing, they'll be evenly matched like a pair of aces. There is no comparison, Inspector Joe and his title. The Emperor appointed him. Just a policeman. I do my job. I don't look for trouble. But I won't turn my back on it either. Teacher, finish the story of the loyal minister that resisted the Mongols. The Mongols had surrounded his camp that night. They asked for a party. They offered him his life if he would give up. You see, they respected him for his courage. But he told their emissary that he'd rather fight. The next day, he was captured. They tortured him until he died. But before he died, he wrote a song, and his song lives. We can learn much from his example. His body died, but his spirit lives on. Today, once again, we are a conquered people. It's up to you to recover our homeland. Here's your suit. Mr. Chen, school finished? Ah. Kids, wanna eat? Not now. We, we want, want you to tell us a story. We're back later. Right. I'll say something for you and the children. been playing all night and I haven't won a hand. How much did you drop? Ah, uh, the first hand alone must have put me back yeah. more than 500. <laughs> you think my luck would change. Once you hit a bad stick, it keeps going. Lady luck's not with me. Oh, all right. Uh, Captain, uh, how about a bowl of noodles? You're on. Take a seat. All right, come on, lad. Play that. Now, great. Oh, I need it, Jimmy. Excuse me, sir. That'll be about 50. Huh? What, Benny? You don't expect us to pay. Oh, 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 what the hell? Oh, oh, oh. Who do you think you are? A man that hates bullies. Chinese? We're all Chinese here, aren't we? 
Uh, his father's a Manchu, but his mother's Chinese. Bastard, learn to keep your mouth shut. Tell me something. If the Chinese were to fight the Manchu, which side would you be on? <laughs> I'll be on whichever side is the winner. People that sit on fences are liable to fall off. You ask for it? Get him! Get him! <laughs> for me, huh? The door's open. What do you want? Out with it. We're looking for a martial arts teacher. You want to learn? No. To ask for help. Oh? Uh -huh. I teach children. Do you know anything more important? See Justice Dunn. Are you sure he'll help? We've been told he won't refuse. We need help badly. They've occupied our temple, the Lord Buddha. Needs a temple. We must take our temple back. Well, we'll see. You men are needed on your farms. You better go home. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I think we found the right mm. man here. Good. My name's Wu Tai. Ben Chen. Been there before. That's right. I go there a couple of times a year. Why is that? You got relatives there? No. I go hunting sometimes with the prince's son. Sometimes I go there to collect taxes. How much land does Prince Chen own? He owns everything in the town. How come you weren't killed with the other tax collectors? Blind luck. I was in Peking with the young prince. Nothing. Spare me, spare me, please. I'm a detective from Peking. Inspector Joe just wants to ask you a few questions. Don't be afraid. I just want a few answers. Once you have told me what I want to know, you can go on your feet. I won't hurt you if you tell the truth. Hey, on your feet. Uh, yes, yes. All the bandits around here. Uh, uh, well. Maybe you don't know about the tax collector murders. You familiar with those? If you know anything, you'd better talk. It's common knowledge here. 
The Wan brothers have been arrested. The Wan brothers? Right. That's what people say. The Wan's are jealous men. The two tax men were after their wives. It doesn't seem right to kill men for that. It wasn't the first time they tried to bother the brothers' wives. Every time they came to town, they made a play for them. When they came to collect the rent the last time, the Wan brothers had had enough of it. You seem to know a lot about the case. Actually, I don't believe the Wans did it. Who do you think did do it? Someone passing through! All right. I see you don't want to talk. Seems I'll have to teach you to respect an officer of the law. Young man, can I be of help? I'm looking for a man name of Lu Shang. Uh, uh, yes, he's here. He's out cutting wood now. You can wait here for him if you like. Make yourself at home. I'll put on a pot of tea. You're very kind. No trouble at all. We have plenty. You must stay for dinner. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you are? I am his mother. My son's set in his ways, and we seldom get visitors. So any friend of his is welcome to stay. My name's Chen Shao Tai. Oh? Not Chen Shao Tai, the famous swordsman. I'm honored to meet you. Don't mention it. Everyone knows that you fight the Manchus, and we respect you for it. Please, say no more. If only we had more people like you, then the Manchus would fall. Uh, I only live with one thought in mind. I want my son to continue his father's fight. I'm sure he will. He is a patriot. And I have also heard he's a very good son. I respect him. I'm getting too old now. I hope he keeps fighting when I am gone. I want him to bring honor on our family, like his father. And you are a good woman. I respect you. My mother's old, and since birth, she's cared for me. Now that she's getting older, I feel it's my duty to care for her. You're a good son. You're like your father. I can understand your point of view. <laughs> You're doing the right thing. And what about your family? I have no family. No mother or father. So I only have to think of myself.
home. We're home now. My beloved son, I'm a burden to you. You're a man now. You need to continue your father's fight. Please listen to me, my son. No matter what hardships arise, you should never be afraid. I am counting on you, my son, to bring honor to our name. Your mother. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Mr. Liu. Mr. Liu. You will have to accept it. Life has to go on. Mom. Mr. Liu. Mr. Liu, do you understand now? I know now. My country must come first. When you're well off. Uh. You kill him, we will lose our only clue. Who the hell are you? What's it to you? Now, this man here is Detective Inspector Joe of the police. Didn't I tell you that he was coming? Oh. <laughs> I'll handle this. I know these peasants. What can an outsider do that I can't? <laughs> Doesn't the prince think I can handle a simple case? Just who are you, anyway? Commander Lee. His Majesty's Army. charge. 
You should be more careful. You giving orders? Just some advice. <laughs> no newcomer gives advice to me. I can handle this. You see this? You're asking for trouble. Hey, where is the bill? Hey, coming, sir. Oh, let me pay. Oh, no, let me pay. <laughs> hey, no, no. Listen, I invited you here. Don't make me lose faith. Oh, I shouldn't let you pay all the time. It's my pleasure. <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> ah, I wish you would let me pay the bill. <laughs> You're being much too kind to me now. Please, don't mention it. <laughs> if you insist, then I will let you pay this time. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, it's nothing. Hey, if you're paying the bills for this gentleman, he's been coming here for a month and hasn't paid a thing. <laughs> I don't want to complain, but actually, <laughs> we don't give credit here. I'd appreciate it if you could pay it for me. I'm afraid I don't have any money. Of course, why not? Ah, sorry, I'm just that way. I hope you're not angry. <laughs> don't be too mad, eh? Okay, it's all right. <laughs> Fine-looking woman. Mm. I am Chu Tung's daughter. My name is Chu Shan. Yes, I remember you. It's been a long time. How have you been? I'm doing all right. No thanks to you, though. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. Your humble servant, Pai King. Such a beautiful girl. I like women with spirit. Oh, you're wasting your time. So you better get out of my way. Well, you can't blame me for trying. <laughs> you're beginning to make me mad. Mm. Then tell me, miss, why are you here? Hmm. You'll find out. You shouldn't carry a sword if you can't use it. Hey! 
you really think that by fighting, you'll be able to make everything all right? I must revenge my father's shame. Hey, lady. This is not the time or place to fight. And if you should get lucky and kill him, who'll pay my bill? You're completely without shame. Lady, you use strong language. I said not to show this. Hey, what's going on? Oh, oh, Let us fight here. If you have to fight him, you should go someplace where there's room. We'll talk it out. You'll get your chance. Some other time. Don't make a move! Change your day. You won't get away with it. Ah. You have time? You and me? We are birds of a feather. Quit patronizing me. I won't stand for it. Get it right! Ah! 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 You break it, you pay for it. Decided. If you'll fight, we'll have Come on. Man become 
What are you going to do? I am a teacher. I have my duty. Do you hear? I can't abandon my job. Can't you understand? A good excuse. You're afraid. If you really believe that, then I will meet you. When the moon rises, I will be on the plane of reeds. When the moon rises, you will taste my revenge. Children are born to honor their parents. I'm an umbrella maker. <laughs> My trade's taught me an important truth. Here we take bamboo. Some strong, some thin. Simple things, like paper, pieces of strip. Just strips of bamboo. But put these simple things together, <laughs> and before you know it, you have an umbrella. I like to believe what I do is useful. Without the umbrella makers, what would people do when it rains? <laughs> Oh, as for me, I've never been to school in my life, but I believe children should be educated. <laughs> That's the most important thing. I understand what you're trying to say, and I do respect you for that. You are better than a rich man that has no skill at all. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't do more. I want to be of service. Please tell the children. I'm sorry to leave. Master Chen, no one can replace you. What can I do? Uh, if you teach the children while Master Chen's gone, then they'll be very lucky children. <laughs> That's a bad joke. You need reasons. You are guilty, so you have to pay. The biggest crime is treason to China. It depends upon your point of view. Point of view? That's right, traitor. My duty comes first. Think what you want. I know where my duty lies. I know. You were raised by the Manchus. That's right. I'm one of them now. <laughs> Bastard! No, you are. You're only good for killing birds. You're no better than an animal.
What happened wasn't my fault. Everyone knows you carve Buddhas, but do you think Buddha knows of that? To know God, first know your heart. Buddha lives there, in men's heart. That's the whole point. In our hearts, we're the same. I believe that Buddha is everywhere. He's in all living things. We may die, yet we may live. It's true that we can't see Buddha. We can't touch him, but he is there. Look to your heart. He will be there. He gives meaning to men's lives. Do you look for a man? or for Buddha. I am here for a man. Who sent you?
You are very skilled. I admire things well done. Thank you. My real calling lies with the sword. I have traveled far and wide in search of Chinese patriots. There is much work to be done. Why didn't you say so first? You're welcome. You keep your skill hidden, but I think we're both alike. Down with the Manchus. Restore the king. Times are changing. The people are rising up to throw off your yoke. We, we move mountains. mountains. We, we chase the, the sun. sun. Kung Fu prevails. The foreign moon is at its peak. Huh? But the Chinese moon is rising. How dare you? Please excuse me. Just borrowing. She won't be hurt. Speed and skill. These are our principles. Hmm. Well, all right, all right. Then go ahead. Enough. I get the point. Hold it. How about me? A monkey in a tree. Good. by the rebels? <laughs> it goes far deeper than I thought. Many of the peasants are secret rebel sympathizers. The Royal Army will make short work of them. The Army? The answer? It isn't. Armies are made. Some thousands of people will die. You'll push the peasants onto their side. It does not matter. These outrages must stop. The Manchu power has lasted 80 years. But we made mistakes. It does not matter. These outrages must stop. The Manchu power has lasted 80 years. But we made mistakes. 
take that rule about carrying off pigtails. Look how many people have been killed over that. Short hair is a Manchu custom. Ever since the Chinese is born, their taught hair is their parents. They don't cut it. The whole country has risen in revolt because of this law. We're playing into the hands of the Ming rebels. They're gathering strength daily. Even the Buddhist monks are with them now. Why did you kill Wu Tai? He was one of the Ming rebels. Sent here to spy on you. Bastard! No, do it my way. Wipe them out before they organize. We'll have to move fast, though. They become stronger with each passing day. No good. We should let the army take care of them. I explained that. You can't use an army to fight guerrillas. To defeat these people, you must use their own methods. I know what I'm saying. You underestimate the power of the Imperial Army. <laughs> people say you're good at your job, but you sound like a coward to me. I just can't believe that rebels could stand up to our army. If you go after the troops, you'll get killed on the way. Dad, how come he knows so much about the plans of the Ming rebels? Don't forget, he is Chinese. Because I am Chinese, I think their way. I'll beat them at their own game. <laughs> I begin to see why the court uses you. I was raised by the Manchus. They are my family now. All right, agree. We'll try it your way. But first, we'll create a diversion. <laughs> I see it. We'll make them show their hand, and then we'll strike. I'll make a sedan chair. Oh. Bajin, sir. You have to serve Inspector Joe Well. Yes. My lord. I'd rather not. The whole mission was almost compromised by Wu Tai. No, don't worry, Parkins Manchu. Don't worry, sir. I will obey you. Good. It's settled then. Let the young prince come with me too. He might learn a thing or two. Good. And bring the gun along. I think we'll have some use for it. Even if Inspector Joe should fail, Prince Ku has a contract on Tan Shou Tei for stealing his farm. Her name's Yun. Nothing can stand up against her power.
getting light. Hey, you must be getting hungry. How about something to eat? <laughs> Commander, they have arrived. Oh. They are coming. Go on, two men. We are the Wayne. Mr. One, now that we've finally joined our forces, I have no doubt we'll defeat the Mansion. You're welcome here. Mr. Ten, we've heard much of you. With all of us together, they can even bring the army here, and we'd defeat them. <laughs> Please. Mr. One. Master Chen, say what's on your mind. Has Wu Tai made contact with your group? Who's Wu Tai? Uh, he's a Chinese patriot. One of the best. What a night. Now the Chinese will arise as one against our foe. Where is Wu Tai now? He's been badly wounded by Inspector Joe. He's recovering now. Like China. <laughs> lot about this Inspector Joe here. What kind of man is he? Mm, he's Chinese, but raised by Manchus. I've heard that he's got a grudge against Master Chen. No, there's this powerful prince in the capital. He wanted to obtain a fortune teller's fan. He had some men steal the fan. Understand, it was no ordinary fan. He just can't make a fan like that. Where the small fortune.
Attention! Sir! We will conquer!
Don't try to talk. I know what you'll say. I can see I'm late. I let you down. Am I right? Never mind. Don't be angry. At least I have brought some good news. Inspector Joe is not far away. I've heard he came here to find a thief. I know that. The court sent him here under the pretense of solving the murder. But actually he came here to suppress main sympathies. And for you. As you seem to be well informed, do you know where the monk is? Inspector Joe is picking us off one by one. This is his strategy. I think that the fighting monk must have been killed. We Chinese will win someday. And you, what do you plan to do? Wherever my feet take me, that's where I'll go. Never rest. I am sure that one day soon the Manchu will fall.
Must be getting old. Jumping at shadows. <laughs> My name is Pike K, and I'm here to kill you. You rat. <laughs> what do you think that makes you? The pot called the cattle black. I am an official in the Imperial Police. <laughs> People like you are the scum of the earth. You're the Chinese working with them. The rebels? Well, I'll be killed. <laughs> you mean traitors? They will all be killed. <laughs>
Now you will die. Who are you? You must remember me. Have you forgotten the fan? Did you think you were safe? Now you'll die. Did you think that Inspector Joe was the last? I won't say like he did. I will kill you. And then I will return the fan. Only have a few more minutes left to live.
the people took up arms and fought back. Many patriots lost their lives fighting the Manchu. Untold thousands died in the fight. For 200 years, the resistance went on. The struggle never ceasing. Heroes' blood washed the plains and the hills of China. So one day, our country could be free again, independent and at peace.